Hey YouTube, Mr. Ram Pro here, and we've got a video on the cold steel roach belly. And I've been using a knife just like this when this is a new a new one, but I've been using one just like it as a kitchen utility knife, and it's worked out pretty well. I just wanted to do a quick video, a couple of cutting demonstrations on it, and uh, just show you kind of how it performs and stuff like that. This is fresh, out of the box, never cut anything with it. So, just wanted to show you exactly what you're going to get from the factory. You get this pretty deep sheath here, and it's just a tension fit kind of deal, so it slides down in there and kind of locks in place. Um, this would be good for a little camping or utility knife, period, but I use mine in the kitchen. I don't, obviously, wear the holster on my hip here, but uh, let's go ahead and pull the knife out. You can see that what is nice about this is they put a protector here to protect your rivets and your thread from the blade itself from sliding on the threads you know on the threads and cutting them over time and destroying your sheath so that's pretty convenient it is it does have the rivets plus the threaded um, seamed insert there so it's just a pretty sturdy case overall it does have some kind of form to it on the back side to keep it from getting completely smashed so that's pretty nice and you do have a small little belt loop that is in fact double stitched so a little bit more sturdy than what you might get out of a cheaper um, sheath for a comparable knife this knife here ran me right about I think 12 or 13 dollars and you can see the roach belly emblem right there and that's a musket with a little um, black powder filler deal and on the other side it says cold steel and Taiwan so it is made overseas probably why they're getting it to us so cheap as far as a price point on it it is just a molded handle I'm not a hundred percent if it has a full tang or not I would imagine that it would probably stop somewhere right around here and just be molded into the plastic maybe a couple of holes drilled in the metal itself of the blade and then just injection molded around here you do have a little bit of a texture on the handle um, pretty much comparable to what you would have on a regular kitchen knife not over grippy but not extremely smooth either so I do want to say that if you're using it you know for cutting a lot of meat or sausage something kind of greasy that uh, your likelihood of this slipping out of your hand is pretty good I would guess if you're not careful you do have kind of a big area down here to fit into your palms so that is kind of nice you can see how the handle bows out down here towards the end and it just fits in your hand pretty good you have some of that jimping up here at the top so that works out pretty nice and you do have a pretty steep angle here that's not uncomfortable but steep enough to keep your hand from riding up on the blade so just an extra little feature pretty nice and a point here for getting piercing kind of digging at small tasks and stuff like that so don't do specifics really in any of my videos you know specs or anything like that but this one's so far pretty good not sure about the metal or anything probably a 420 or something you can see right here I don't think you can see that with a naked eye but you can see an indent where they most likely did the Rockwell hardness test on it and hit it with a punch machine I would imagine it's probably you know like your average 58 to 60 kind of deal and let's go ahead and start cutting right here we just got a regular field onion like what you pick up at the grocery store put as accents for like salads or sandwiches or something like that um, not a super good chef or anything but you know I'll do what I can so my dicing skills are not exactly great but you can see that it's cutting through pretty effortlessly and uh, that is kind of nice especially in the kitchen I mean you're doing a bunch of cooking you're cooking for a big family or something like that you, you don't want to be hassling through all this kind of stuff so that's cool and it's small enough you can throw it right in the dishwasher you can do whatever you want with it now we have a cucumber here already cut in half for ease of camera use so we'll go ahead and push through here it doesn't have a completely um, I guess like a flat grind or whatever you can see how it does have a beveled edge on it but it still cuts pretty good I know a lot of your chef knives you know for the dice and just make like a wedge shape but you can get it pretty thin I mean you're seeing that we're getting a pretty good cut on this here so that's pretty good pretty good slice I mean much thinner for a cucumber I can't imagine being practical for anything so that works out pretty good and I'm not going to be doing any heavy cutting this is just vegetables this will be a kitchen knife also and let's see here that's a pretty pretty thin slice I've seen thinner on some of them commercials and stuff like that but no doubt they do 150 takes on it so I don't have that kind of time or patience and neither do you watching a video but that's pretty good pretty good thin slices you can do your regular dicing 
and um, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. It's just a really a pretty good and uh, cheap overall kitchen utility knife, and it's something different than what you would get normally at uh, the store or anything like that. So you've got something to kind of show your buddies a conversation piece when they show up and. Hey, man, what is that? Oh, yeah, that's a cold steel, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you can kind of just give you something to talk about, make you seem cooler in the kitchen or something. And that's really about it, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'm going to go make lunch. Thanks.